What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Demarius Jackson. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the one thing to help me learn how to swing and how you can use it to help learn how to swing yourself if you're a beginner learning this technique. But first, let's talk about what swing is not. So if you played in a concert band before in any kind of pop tune or I guess contemporary music, you might have seen that first rhythm. Swing is not a dotted eighth sixteenth. A dotted eighth sixteenth is a dotted eighth sixteenth. Swing is also not, even though it's closer to, but it's also not a triplet with the middle triplet omitted. Granted, these are good ways to kind of learn and get the basis of what the swing rhythm is rhythmically. It doesn't fully embody what swing is. So check this out. I put ornithology in finale and I use both rhythms. So we'll hear what it sounds like first with that dotted eighth sixteenth and then we're going to listen to actually Charlie Parker play it and see if it's closely related or similar. Here we go. All right, and now let's listen to ornithology with the triplet rhythm, just with that middle triplet omitted and see what that one sounds like. Here we go as well. So as you can tell, the two rhythms aren't exactly what he played, although that second one is closer. And if I had to pick between the two, I would choose the triplet rhythm. However, it's not exactly what was going on when he was playing. So you may ask, what is it exactly that helped me personally learn how to play in a swing style? The Charlie Parker Omnibook. So let's lay this out step by step on how to learn how to swing. Number one, you have to listen. My main problem when I learned exactly how to swing is honestly, I didn't know what it sounded like. I had the concept of dotted eight sixteenth and I had the concept of the triplet rhythm, but actually hearing what that is supposed to sound like is where my disconnect was. So in addition to listening to Charlie Parker, I also took this Omni book and I played every single tune in the Omni book with the recording. Now, of course it was tough at first. I had pretty decent technique, but I had to put aside playing with the recordings to actually get the notes under my fingers or whatever instrument that you may play before I actually added it to playing along with the recordings. But eventually over time, I built up the skill necessary to play along with the recordings. And I did this every single day for a very, very long time until magically it clicked for me. And trust and believe that is not the answer that a lot of musicians want to hear, but it's the down honest truth of how I learned how to swing. I just had to listen a thousand times, play a thousand times with the recording, well maybe not exactly a thousand. And eventually I got under my fingers. And honestly I had to stop over analyzing the dotted A 16th or it has to be a triplet rhythm and just embody what swing is. Danny Janklow had a great quote on his Instagram page. I love it. I'm about to steal it. It was that he's not trying to imitate Bird. He's trying to embody him. Because we full and well know that if we were playing Donna Lee at metronome marking 300, there is no way that I can think about dotted eighth sixteenths and triplets. At that point, I'm just playing. And so the whole concept can be very confusing, but here's my biggest advice. Get the Omni book and preferably, honestly, you probably want to learn how to play these things by ear first. That's just the way that I did it. But either get the book or learn how to play these tunes by ear. Play along with the recordings and you'll be well on your way. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, smash all those buttons. Yeah. And I'll see you on the next video. Out.